What's up YouTube, Erod212 here with another whole video. So today's video, I wanna show you what I've been uh, investing in recently. And I also wanna talk about an eBay mishap that I narrowly avoided. All right, so these are the books that I've been picking up lately and a couple shout outs here, but our first shout out is to my man Choo Choo's Comics, uh, run some great mystery boxes. Uh, I wasn't able to get a copy of this book, but he had a couple of sets and he was uh, gracious enough to sell me a set for cover price, you know, what he paid for it. And that would be this gorgeous uh, Rose Besh uh, Department of Truth number nine variant. So there's the trade dress and that is the variant. Um, I love Rose Besh's work. Uh, she has that new school feel to her, you know, hip hop ish a little bit. If you've seen like her Spider Gwen one, and she's done, oh no, it was a silk one. The silk one was fantastic. And she did a Spider Gwen and uh, Miles Morales one. I, not as good, but that silk one was fantastic. Um, this a little different, but um, still really, really good look. Uh, next two books I picked up at a shop I visit all the time. This shop has fantastic books, so I always try and frequent, at least, frequent it at least once a month. And that was Ultimate Comics Spider-Man number one. And that book is the second appearance of Miles Morales. So good book to have in the collection. Uh, another book that I like to have in the collection was this book here. And that's uh, Avengers number 71. So Avengers 71 is the first appearance of the invaders but more importantly than that it is the first time that the black knight joins and becomes a member of the avengers so black knight is coming kid harrington has a six picture deal i say it's going to be a big deal somewhere along the line he's going to be part of the avengers now check this variant out take a look at that that thing is a work of art and that is uh, X-Men number one. That's the Felipe Massafara uh, IG comic store variant. Felipe Massafara, to me, it, it, his work is on par. Just a little underneath Alex Ross is when it comes to photorealism. I mean, you can see that picture right there. It is just gorgeous. Um, I bought that strictly for the cover, and I don't do that a lot anymore. But that book I bought strictly for the cover. He did another X-Men one. Just amazing. He's done some great, great work talking about great work and, and beautiful covers uh have you not seen alex ross's uh was it revelations uh for he-man revelation just this book is amazing the cover work is fantastic uh top five he-man covers right now and it's a wraparound so I'll put a clear backing board in this beauty uh just to show it that book is fire i mean i didn't even read the story but that cover is amazing just the way he-man is striking uh, Skeletor right there beautiful um, picked this up from a community member who um, needed some help and was selling some books and I picked up Thor God of Thunder number two and that's the first appearance of Gorda God Butcher uh, I bought this a while ago it took him a little bit of time to ship because it just had some family stuff and no issue but we just saw some set photos recently of Gore and uh, what Christian Bale might look like I think it's going to be amazing I mean, Butcher always talked about gore. And if you haven't read the God of Thunder story arc, I believe it's 25 issues, read that story arc. It's a great story arc. Um, the next book is my eBay uh, Steal of the Week. Um, and uh, that's this one here. DC Comics Presents number 47. Now, this person had this listed as a fine. Um, this is the first appearance of He-Man in comic books. And this book has gotten pricey. This book is way better than a fine. Um, if you see, these are the defects that I saw. So I saw this, and then I saw this. Um, both of those have pressable uh, abilities. They won't be perfect, but they'll be a lot better. I think um, if this book comes back 8 to a 9 I am happy. Um, I think I can get it that high, but we shall see. And now here is my almost, uh, an almost eBay fail. And I'll talk about this a little bit. 
So uh, I usually have a system for when I look for books and I have certain books I look for. One that I always look for is this book here, Batman number 175, first appearance of the Riddler. Uh, Silver Age key, tough to find in high grade. All of these, 181 is, you know, first Catwoman, 171, uh, first Penguin in Silver Age, uh, just tough, tough books to find in high grade. Now, uh, looking at this book here, I thought maybe I could get a 3-0 out of it. I mean, wishing for a 3-5, but I thought a 3-0. Um, and, uh, you know, these were the pictures that the person posted for this book. Uh, as you can see, it looks like it has some defects that I can work with. Uh, there are some issues with the back, but that's why I thought a 3-5. But if you look at his comments, he says that the book was intact. So now I get the book. And what happens? The book comes in, and the book is completely detached. I'm like, shit. So now I have to go through this whole thing. I didn't want to go through eBay to recoup my money and everything else. So what I do is I take pictures of the book immediately. I took those pictures, uploaded them, sent a message to the seller. Showed him that the book was completely detached. Now I paid $350 for this book reason I paid 350 is that if this book was a 3.0 GPA on this book was really nice 3.5 would have been a blessing so I talked to him he apologized he said he was uh, misinformed by somebody else when they gave him a description for the book I guess he was he and he wasn't a comic book guy he must have come across his book someone told him how to list it and he listed it um, so he wanted to see if I wanted to return the book. I asked if he could give me a half off. So I was able to get this book for $175. And this is what this book in a 2.0 and 2.5 goes for. So tragedy avoided. I think I did good with this book still. Um, you can definitely get a 2.0 up to a 2.5 I've seen for a detached cover. I'm probably gonna go with a 2.0 on this book. If I get a 2.5, I'm an ecstatic. But that's how I avoided it. That's what I did. Take good pictures, contact the seller, new seller, try and strike a deal, and never know what could happen, you know? I turned a loss into a win this time around, I think. But once I get a grade and everything else, I'll show you guys what the grade came back. I'll refer to this video, and we'll see if I'm a winner or a loser with this. That's it. Appreciate you guys watching this channel. Appreciate the support. Um, we're on the road to 3,500, so uh, 4,000 subs, we're going to do a giveaway again. All right, I'll pick another slab and give it away. Also, uh, I gave this slab away, and the winner has not claimed it yet. So, uh, winner of this video, go back and check. You know who you are. I'm going to give it another month. If he doesn't, this will go back out to somebody else in the community. All right, that's it, guys. Until my next video. This is wild. The two of you, same person. I mean, wow. Wild.